Over the past 35 years, village court officials have been dedicating their services to the country in maintaining law and order for a safe, harmonious society. However, successive governments have failed to recognize their efforts. The new payroll system will now benefit over 17,000 village court officials nationwide. Attorney General and Justice Minister Karen Gakua said village court officials play a vital role in rural communities and the O'Neill Dion government has played a decisive role to repay their efforts. You know, I, I stand here with a certain degree of pride, happiness, that now we are able to recognize uh, a very important arm of the justice delivery system in this country, which is the village court. Uh, they uh, the highest number of courts and have the highest number of officials and also deal with the highest number of cases on a yearly basis. Minister Kua said salary will be accrued fortnightly but will be paid monthly due to the remoteness of most village court officials throughout the country. Meanwhile, only a handful of provinces are yet to submit the details. These include Central, Millen Bay, Oro, East and West New Britain, Manus, Eastern Islands, Hela and the Autonomous Region of Bougainville. Before launching the payroll system, Prime Minister Peter O'Neill said this initiative is to empower government officers to work in rural settings and deliver services. We are now putting our village court magistrates and village court officials on this payroll system that will enable them to get a uh, fortnightly uh, allowances that they are fully and, and truly deserving. This is uh, because of a government policy that we introduced not so long ago. Mr. O'Neill added that funding will come under the village court function grants which stands at 8.2 million and is sufficient to cater for land mediators as well. Mr. O'Neill then launched the new payroll system. Jack Lapawa Jr. National MTV News.